Yeah. Are you are you still finding things that you had no idea that were, were going to exist in the future and putting seed money in? Because you, you, you were so yeah. early on so many other things. You're just reaping the benefits of that? Or, or And if you are still finding things, what the heck are they? Well, I, I got to say, it's. Uh, I sure hope not everything's been invented. And, and I, we live in a really exciting time. Uh, I think that uh, there's so many opportunities. And basically what we look for is we look for uh, markets that uh, either have you know very large entrenched competitors with high profit margins, or you look for things that have high inefficiencies uh, that can be disrupted through technology, and you look for changes in consumer behavior or corporate behavior. And we live in a in a in a great time of change, and with change comes a lot of opportunity. You're not going to tell me about. Uh, you're sounding like Apple. Apple hasn't had a yeah. like a, a breakthrough huge uh, product. Change in, in a while. Yeah. yeah, they have, and that's sort of what you're telling me now. These sound, sound all incremental. So you're not telling me what the next uh, social media is going to be, or what the next. Well, so I, I think I think there. You know, we were living in a period where technology was really impacting the way people live their lives, and how corporations do their business. And then all of a sudden, the pandemic hits. Hmm. It's it's like the great pull forward, and you got 10 years of progress crammed into you know a couple of years. And now all of a sudden, these markets are are accelerating. We had very loose monetary policy, and so capital is 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 almost free, and that allows you to invest in very bold, you know, bold ideas. Now we're entering into a period where capital may not be, uh, or is not going to be free, and and the cost of capital is increasing, and interest rates are going up, and people are getting more and more concerned not in just growth, but also in profitability and profitable growth. And so that's going to make it a little bit more uh, more challenging. And some of the bolder ideas may not get funded right now. But we got a lot of innovation. It's probably okay to take a break. Right. What happened with, with Facebook? I mean, there's, it's not just a multiple compression with Facebook. Something is, and I don't know whether it, it, Apple's involved there as well. And there, there's some other. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know. But my, my view is when you look at Facebook, uh, uh, you know, fundamentally, digital audiences are increasing in the need for for people to sell products and services and, and address uh, uh, and target digital audiences is very high. But Facebook faces a few, a few challenges. You know, you mentioned the Apple uh, ad changes. That's definitely one of them. Competition uh, from TikTok for, for time. And then kind of the changing uh, platform for, for Facebook, moving away from just newsfeed into things like stories and reels and metaverse and stuff will take time. And they need time to kind of evolve the platform. And so as a result, you know, when you see slowdowns, uh, uh, the street doesn't look like they like those kind of slowdowns. And I Do think that's... go out the other end, customers that, that come in and that... We're not allowed to reference that. I don't need to say who it was or what happened with it, but I thought that was very interesting that you got this funnel and yeah. growth wow. is great, but that at the bottom there's all these people that you thought you had that you don't have and they're not, they, you don't retain those people. Well, that's happening with streaming. It's happening ac across the board. With that's all. true. You, you well, know, and people have been focused really just on growth. I think people will now begin to focus on you know, other way, you know, the quality of growth and also the ability to monetize that growth profitably. And... and well, how expensive have the private markets gotten, like far down? How much more complicated has that gotten with the free money picture? And, and, and what happens now? I mean, what we're seeing with the drops in tech prices that started right. at the beginning of January and have continued all the way through, when and how does that ripple down to the private markets? Well, I mean, private markets almost always follow public markets. You know, mm -hmm. part of it is sentiment. You know, part of it is, well, you know, this is what it could be worth as a, as a public company. And... Um, and what has happened is, you know, we've had these very robust, uh, very high valuations in the public market, and it's probably caused an even uh, a much greater rise in the public market. Now, public markets address, I mean, um, they correct almost instantaneously, and private markets tend to take a little while to change. And, and usually what happens is uh, on the downside, they take a little while to adjust, and on the upside, they adjust almost instantaneously. And so... We haven't really seen it yet in the private market, but you start seeing it at the later stages and then it filters into the early stage. I'll tell you that entrepreneurs probably haven't yet uh, adjusted. Um, and I don't know that we've been in this, uh, the, 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 the private, uh, uh, the public market correction kind of long enough for it to really kind of settle in. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.